Okay, here we are. Today is Ju no, July. July the 13th, 2020, and uh, I was in the by the porch and I saw a car go by, and here were these three very, very nice people that have a little history here. And who who want you who wants to start first? Right here, oh. Gina. <laughs> Gina, give us your name and a little bit of. Well, my my name is Jean Adrian uh, Moshe Washam. That's a long name. Uh, my mother was Esther Adrianson Moshe, and her father was Johann Frederick Adrianson, who was a pastor here. Uh, and his, we come up here every year, Memorial Day, to put flowers on his grave because I live in Lewiston, so I'm close by. And uh, he's buried here at the Selby. Ru roughly when was he pastor? Do you remember roughly? Uh, well, he passed away in 1936, so uh, I'm not before. sure. Probably in the, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, but in the late 20s, early 30s, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Um, no, our family has lived in the Spokane and Lewiston area for many years, and my sister used to come with me from Spokane, and, okay. and her daughter comes with me now, and uh, we just love coming up here. And So what was your impression of our little church here? You've seen it before, love but it. what do you think? It, it's a very well-kept-up church, and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just lovely with all the stained-glass windows, and um, it, it's fun for me because there is that connection here with my mm -hmm. grandfather. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then here we have a couple, and give us, give me your names. I'm Greg Norwood, and I'm from Houston, Texas. <laughs> we can tell it a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I'm from Louisiana by way of Houston. Yeah. So, yeah. And this is my wife, Sue, and she has a connection. Yeah, that Johann Frederick was my great-grandfather. My mom and Jean were cousins, and so we... Um, went to Norway last year to meet more family, and we came back here. And I wanted to come see. I have. I came up here with my mom. We were invited for like a 75th anniversary, and that's the last time I've been here. But I knew my great grandfather was buried here, so we. I wanted to come. We're out here on vacation. And I wanted to come up and see his uh, gravesite and just visit it. And it's the most beautiful cemetery, and it's a beautiful church. I vaguely remember a lot of this. I remember. When we came for the 75th, we went downstairs for the potluck. Do you remember that? <laughs> I was a teenager. So you think you were <laughs> here it. for the 75th? I think it was the 70th. It was one of the big anniversaries, and we got an invitation to it, and so we all came. Wow. Most of his fam most of the family came. They were yeah, still alive My mother then. and uncle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were all still alive, and they all came, so... Anyway, but that's that's how we're but, here today. But in Norway, we actually got to see where my grandfather was born, which yes. is up in Tromso or near Tromso, mm -hmm. and it was his his brother's grandson that contacted me on Facebook three years ago. We had we knew we had relatives in Norway, but we didn't know who they were, and he contacted me out of the blue, and we got in touch with other relatives, and we made. The trip to Norway. It was, wow. it was a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah. Any uh, any words of encouragement to the people that might watch this? <laughs> well, this is a great little church here, and it's so. We were saying it's so clean. You know, it's an older church, but it's so well kept, mm -hmm. and that's so unusual. And a lot of these churches, these old churches, especially the rurals, have gone down to nothing and they've just been left and so i'm so impressed with this uh -huh. one it's just so beautiful and i think There's... you've got a pretty good pastor yeah. now we go i i gave him a candy bar so yeah. preach it preach it <laughs> yeah. he can preach as well as he can visit uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I tell you, Sunday morning here is a lot of fun. I mean, oh, yeah. oh. one of my little stories was uh, when I first came here, there was a little bit of laughter because, I, like I said, I wasn't planning on staying, so I wasn't being very <laughs> cautious. And, 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 and somebody said, well, one of the old timers named Bud, I think, said, well, I said, well, didn't, didn't people laugh at church in the old days at pasture? It's not that they didn't laugh. They, they didn't smile. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, that's going to change or I'll have to leave because I'm not going to stop being me. <laughs> yes, very quiet services. When we uh, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. No, we have good time. We actually have a few kids. A few of these farmers, next generation, have little kids. So Great. we have eight or ten around. They don't come like every Sunday, but they're, we, they come for, you know, they special buy. events. Yeah. So. No, that's fantastic. Well, anything else? This has been great. Any last minute well, thoughts? Keep up the well, good work. We're, we're, really we're very, it. Good. We're happy that we came up here and saw you out there so we yeah. could come yes. inside and visit. <laughs> yeah. Lose yeah. it. Yeah, I was just yeah, sitting out on the fun. porch step with Shanette. She, she uh, and I said, "Well, I'm going to go say hi to these people. I know they must have some connection. Yes. <laughs> Not too many people just <laughs> happen by." <laughs> no, you have to be coming. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I, I was mentioning that I'd done consulting in Houston. I really. I'm not a fan of the weather, but I love the people in Houston. It was one of my favorite places, seriously, that, yeah, that I ever worked. Yeah, the What's that? Good. The, the food's, food's pretty good. Too. Oh, and the food? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, God bless, and thanks so much. Thank you.